What the hell? What's going on? What's going on? I just did all the videos on popular. Okay? And he deleted the rest. Wait, no, featured. Uh, all. What's that? Oh god. All of a sudden, all my videos just disappeared. Because I just thought of them. Uh, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry I'm late. I should stream. I should started my stream uh, two hours ago. But I fell asleep by mistake while I'm taking a nap. And um, I don't know where these videos go on in my channel, but I'll check it later. Um, I hurt my arm yesterday after I finished the stream by, by fixing a mistake. It's a, a story for another day. And then I hurt my foot while I'm working today because every day I work for 20 minutes, but from the beginning of this year, I start to walk 30 minutes. And my body is not getting used to it. I'm pulling its constraints, which is a good thing. I'm pushing it harder. And uh, the result is my body is objecting and complaining and I can't, it's not happy with all the walk. And I was like, uh, walk more, bitch, walk more. And <clears throat> I'm actually a little bit tired since yesterday but uh, I even was a little bit angry but not in a bad way because I'm doing a lot of crap and um, even though I couldn't code after the stream that's why I couldn't hit more than 3.5 hours and I didn't calculate how much preparation time so I didn't work as much as um, last few days, but the only day of break I have is this one. And actually I've been working a lot before the start of the year, so it has been a good run. And hopefully I'm not going to burn myself to death. But, but I have one day off, but I don't want to use it. Uh, I'm trying because this is the first time I'm using the system to have days off. And every year I always fall sick for a few weeks and screw up my whole schedule and my energy. So I'm trying to use the, um, to collect some day, days off for these days. I usually close the projects because I have like four or three of them open and uh, they uh, a little bit heavy, a little bit heavy. So um, I close them down so I can use other stuff for my computer without failing it will explode. Sometimes actually when I stream and I have a uh, stream video game on YouTube like Doom or something and hosting a server and um, having um, four or five or even two Visual Studio open it can crash my computer. It's probably Doom, the Doom host, Doom Seeker, and it's not, uh, I don't think it's the Visual Studio, but um, yeah, yeah, C++ power. So what else? Let's open maps one later as well. So today, today I'll try to pull three hours of work, the minimum. Uh, just like yesterday, I pulled 3.5. Oh, it's already on. Maps related to. It's already on. So let's take a look on my task list. Even though, because I decided to remake my game engine and my map editor from Map Simulator, uh, it cost me a lot of time instead of uh, finishing uh, 
the second alpha for uh, Williams ordeal I'm quite happy with the progress because if I could make a way to make um, characters and controllable characters easier it will be uh, much better for the game development itself so I could add mini games easier but it, uh, as you can see there's a lot of things I need to adjust and fix and replace uh, my uh, yeah previous system is not as good I expected but things evolve things evolve that's something that a lot, a lot of programmers cannot uh, perceive that you cannot write the best code from the first start no matter how much you read from articles the best way to write code and whatever implement conditions to decide between idle to idle free so you see features like these um, are not supported natively in the game engine so I need to find ways to do that uh, the system already is powerful enough to do a lot of things, but uh, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible to add these. Later on, I can uh, add a tab in here in Tools. Wow, this is the old one. I need to remove this. This is one of the ideas for one of my pieces that got rejected badly. Uh, <laughs> trying to calculate emotions by using games as tools uh, and balance the uh, things that the AI think the user trigger his emotion over time and try to test the theory and yeah yeah I was like maybe someday I can use this tool to do this but uh, it needs psychology yeah guy and someone who deals with mental things daily to prove that if this is even a valid experiment or not so I mean uh, uh, yeah so I, I'm going to use it for different reasons to give uh, to make a tool to make everything have values and try to Balance the game. I need to move stuff around in my table. It's start to get messy. I need to yeah toss some of the stuff to the trash. Oh wait wait wait. And instead, what we are going to deal with today, I'm thinking to do some of the stuff. One of the stuff that I want to do today is in test three. Where is test three? This is test three. This is test three. In the um, main game main loop, it has a lot of crap that deal with control, and I already have a control manager. Why not to use it? So instead of having these suckers here, I when I start making the game engine, you can tell I didn't have a control manager. I will make the control manager handle them. Then, I will make a second mm, control manager update, even a third if I needed to, to handle the rest. So, why the gravity is before the control input while here is taking the state. The the physics is I I I either need to put it before or after I'm not sure. So let me start the timer and let's pray to God. We need to move some code. We need to find out. Yeah, I might move this again. Uh, this thing um, should gravity affect before or after you click. A lot of questions, a lot of questions. And uh, take input. What does it do? Does it send a request or not?
I don't think this is uh, the best way to do this as well. Oh yeah, the game, uh, mono game have a new um, game bad, I believe, codes. I need to check them out later on and improve my controller. Where do requests happen? Boy, oh boy. I need to make a menu component to deal with typing as well. But this is the Arabic English curb. Oh, English Arabic curb. And this is the f text box curb. And. Oh, really? Maybe it's not used in this project, so screw you, haha. -ha. Silly me, I believe it happens in the controller level, doesn't it? This is a control manager. Um, so it's sent in... Yeah, it's really nice to start the stream and start to work by uh, being confused like hell. Uh, here, controller request release and controller request. So it depends on if you uh, left your uh, button or you didn't leave your button. So... And this one is called by that one and that one is called by this one, so... Uh, this one is here, so j j just do it, just do it, just, just, just do it. What we're going to do is, and we go there, and here. It even deal with the mouse itself, so, um, yeah. So it fits to do this, and here we do uh, I might have a better name soon. And actually, I might move this into one function inside the map, a class, instead of having them inside the game. I was thinking uh, to uh, make um, the uh, game more customizable if we put this inside the uh, update function. And it might be if we have introduced something other than um animated particle fire items and regions maybe we have newer systems in the newer game but in that time it it mostly will be hard coded systems in the engine so the map class will be upgraded accordingly so um yeah so at the end I mean, for the God's sake, it's called Control Manager. It's 
so now we need to take these guys from here don't I have a region called control region or something maybe Them static. What are you waiting for? I can them static. Even these things, I played around till I figured out how to order them, and I believe there must be one billion ways more optimized to do this stuff. Oh, these uh, in the update to uh, for example this should be part of the map the game should not know about it so um, we, we, we need to do updates for the map class as well this is part of the game manager a uh, control manager as well so uh, yeah. I might need these three in the uh, in the main update, or I could use a control manager and make them static. Because yep, so we can use a control manager. Fuck you. These part are part of the game, that's all right. But these parts, uh, we need to move them, we need to move them. now what else it already feels cleaner after moving some stuff yeah I'm going to write that down I need to implement bag I need to make result tabs 
I don't wait to play some maps for the game by the map simulator once. Yeah, I will work on that as well. So today is a chill day. We will do some chill stuff like this. Uh, move some of the the code that related to control manager to it from the game class or main game class with that every time we create new game we don't need to copy all this crap and it will be easier to make uh, what do you call it It will be easier to make um, what do you call it, damn it a template to have a project like this and what the hell is this why it's invisible later later don't for me so um, these two definitely should be there as well it might crash because the order thing so I might make a function and send parameters to have the name of the default control to the control manager and send the data in there and it initialize these as well I might do that the less amount of data that I input here the better and make the systems deal with the rest the order is a bit uh, is a bit complicated because of the dependency So this is for debugging this section. So we will make in the map class. To be honest, I kind of not happy with that now, right now. But it's the logical thing to do because I wanted to see these codes when I deal with them. But in the same time, when they work perfectly, I won't need to. Uh, where is the? Let's put it above a zero. The map class is a little bit messy. A little bit messy. It need um, I need to uh, look at its code someday and try to make it uh, better. But it was so primitive before. It only supported tilts and. Uh, yeah, I kept building stuff over stuff over stuff over stuff and actually, actually the first map uh, editor I made was on Visual Basic 6. I was making it for uh, my new RPG game. Um, I have uh, the War 1, War 2, War 3, all of them unfinished of course. 
And uh, in War 3, I was like, let's make a map editor for it so I can easily create maps for it. And I even made a simple path finding uh, AI in that time. It was around 2005 when I was in my first college. And fun time, fun time. Even though I didn't understand, I didn't understand the term itself, pathfinding. It wasn't something that, uh, you know, um, popular, I guess. Is the update function static? It should be, isn't it? Just like the throw. Then why the throw is not static, or is the every map? update itself well we have one control manager but the maps hmm 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 no we need it static because it updates all the maps that's active game time oh you Did I confuse the little guy? So uh, here, and we have uh, this. We have this. We have this. I might later on add flags. And instead of having so here we don't know the game because this is part of the game engine and this is the game the game file the main game class but the game core don't know the game um, so game core uh, current game game What was it? Yeah, game, it's called game. Oh, a small game, okay. Oh, give me a fucking break. Is it, um, wait, 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 is it inside the game file? No. Fuck me. This game. Are you kidding me? Mm, slow down, slow down. We have many classes. Slow down. Where is the game core? I don't see it. 12 fifth. I game data manager. I game I and I game. This game. Why can't you fucking see it? Damn it. I don't care, this game. Oh. Actually, there's a way to access the maps in the... 
in your game core. Yeah, um, maybe I need to make some cleanup instead of having the maps everywhere. Because I was afraid that uh, I make a clone by mistake. I was new in C sharp. So actually, we, we need to make a cleanup. Definitely. Should I do it now? I mean, instead of having a list of the map names and a list of the active map and a list of the available map and a list of the maps themselves, I mean, what the fudge? It's freaking confusing. Hoo hoo, your code is spaghetti. Uh, hoo hoo. Uh, I don't want to curse. Um. It happens when you add a lot of code in a short time. Actually, for a very long time as well. It freaking happened. Okay, okay, okay. Go to the game core and check the sit map function. What does it do? It put them in here. But this one only the names. And this one is actually not the game core. Is it the game core? This is. Uh... Oh, this is the script. This one. I could do that. Huh. I made it in a campaign last time. Oh, uh, I forgot I have a script tag for the game uh, core file. Oops. Um. This can define the map in the main menu if you have more than one project. Um, so if you don't load the, uh, the, the cam, tell you pick the cam that you want to pick, I can define maps in the game core itself. Uh, let's go to, I wish if I can make this double tap. like double tab of um, classes because one tab is not enough one freaking tab is not enough uh, game i know i wonder if i'm streaming sometimes when it get too quiet i feel i'm forgetting something um sit map Definitely need to rework all of this. This is confusing as hell. But one system at a time. One system at a time. But these are not always active maps. But oh yeah 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 I have the names in here. I can turn them off. I can turn them off. That's the whole thing. So uh, like this.
Or is it part of the... Uh... Yeah, it is part of the game core. What? Okay, 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 current game core. Now you start to kill me. Now you start. Silly me, it's it's part of the game core, not part of the game class. Oops. Silly me. Even though both of them are references to no. This one have a reference to the game core. Okay, okay. Okay. No. The only thing left is this. So, um, send it whatever I might want to send it to other places but uh, this thing is int so let's give it a test Mm, I won't be surprised if the crash everywhere. But... For some reason, I cannot move. Interesting. And actually, because now I don't use this with the time I I E, I'm uh, doing it. Um, on the same time uh, signal I can do this or I can memorize which list of maps does the player have and update only that map actually or which map that the, the yeah the uh, later on later on I can update the system and make this one as a dynamic function so I can switch the behavior of the game by calling different uh, map updates depending depends on the map how it works we use the right behaviors that's one of the whole ideas of making my own game engine to support such crap Now, why the hell For example, in this case Both T1 and main menu are active But only T1 has characters that controllable So we, we could freeze the characters and uh, only activate the ones that the player in. This is not the issue now. The issue is why am I failing to control the character all of a sudden? Is it the key press problem? It might be.
It's expected when uh, I move a lot of code to have such. Hmm. Doesn't receive the actions for some reason. You know why? It's because I'm using the map. I used to use the, the references in the maps inside the, uh, the game. But for some fucking reason, I couldn't control them. Um, the, the thing is, I believe I'm changing the original maps. That's supposed to be having the maps that's loaded from the files which I should not manipulate unless if I want to make persistent maps and using them in the game I believe that's what's going on um, because the code before is we are using no this is the game core And when I call the code, Even have the default control A. Hey, yep, this is the test game theory. What's going on? Fucking A. You know what does it mean that fucking A? Fucking A. Uh, this thing is working because here, when I click right and left, you understand it's right and left. What the fuck? I wanted to have a shell day work. I don't want to deal do real work. Debug and troubleshoot and crap. Damn it. Oh, where do we go? We need to go to the guy who holds the script for the action approval for approve and stuff, and that's in the creature class. And the creature class we have here. Fuck. We need to work. I need to update this after I finish replacing the old map simulator with the new one completely. Then I can I can feel I can remove these. I really want to just, I, I feel a little bit playful, I want to play anything.
I feel like I, I don't want to work. I just want to chill and watch a TV or do something. So these works. But the checking wall doesn't work. Why? Can I jump at least? Nope. Yep, he's on the right map. Fudge. Yeah, it is false because we don't want to move him in here. Um, so this goes back to here and this goes back to here. So um, uh, we should um, We should um, run this. So we approve walk. Did I delete the code by mistake? We approved walk. The thing is. No action has been registered. So in the creature class, again, we go to the first function, or the result function, which is approve. And we approve a walk. And we're sending the creature from the walker, and we add walk. So now we have walk in here. After that, the um, this one should work. But which code did it call all of that? From the control request, from the control manager, from the update in the control, right? Take input, and this is in the uh, update in the control manager, which is called from test game main update, which is called from this guy, and then we apply the here. Then the map class should work in the update and it's used the game time frame. So, what the fudge happened? I 
When do we when do we do a reset? Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, one more thing. When do we do the action condition um, request? It should be. Where is it? So, is it in the control manager? I should uh, have a copy of the older code before I do anything stupid. So this time, it wasn't here after the taken bot. Did I make a mistake and move it to the map, uh, to, um, to the, to the control manager? I might, I might did that by mistake. And I might add it even in here, so let's go and check. Uh, the easiest way to do it is um, actually, it's still in here. So for um, this is not part of the debug, damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Let me focus one second. Does this happen before or after the reset? After, so we made a mistake. We made a mistake by not noticing that this is not part of the debug. So we go to the map class and do this. And because this, And actually, now I feel more comfortable to move this after it. Even though it feels maybe I should yeah, reset them after all of them get activated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if there are relationship between the actions between the creatures, better to finish all of them. So let's um, delete all the breakpoint. There you go. It was a stupid mistake. I thought it was part of the debug, and I didn't read the code. I just put it there. Because I remember I had two uh, system, uh, whatever, system print, diagnosis, debug print, whatever. So, so, so. If we have mini games, we can update them here. And there you go, as you can see, the code is much cleaner. I can make the testing code in here. Uh, the normal control uh, is all played in here. The uh, control itself, did I, what I mean control, I meant the action, action. 
and the update for the map, the latest stuff, the real control, which is the pressing, the mechanical thing. The mechanical thing is all uh, all in the uh, control manager update one and two. Um, the graffiti, not all games have graffiti, so I can leave it here. And I can replace this one with a flag, like making the map as well. Make it part of the map uh, update and having it as a flag. eating my cake with coffee as a reward for a job well done as I said the only problem is whenever I want to check what's the problem I need to go jump between the three functions. But the good thing is, whenever I need to make a new project, I don't need to worry about all the code because it became part of the game engine code. The control manager and the map class are game engine systems. So, what's next? So we done these two. Now we want to do this. So what we're going to do? We're going to stop this. And we're going to Go to here, I believe. No, not this one. This one? I forgot. It has been a long time when I made it. No, this is the menu strip. Where's the property? Why? I can't see it. Hello? Huh. I want to come... Tellily, tellily, where's the component property? Don't get me mad now, come on. Pfft. 
so I always thought it was the same window that shows the, these guys and um, these guys and all of a sudden it works okay no problem no problem and uh, this guy is connected to um, a menu strip but I don't know which one uh, it's connected maybe to this are already taken so whatever So now, when we load the game, I can do this, but this do nothing now. So we need to program it. So and we're going to add it to the script soon. So let's add this task. I didn't write it. Um, add that to the script wizard two. So um, the code, I believe, similar to this. It's in the same section here. We can do how can I add the handler to it? Mm. Uh, let's add this here. Nope, double click doesn't work. How can I add the event to it? How did I make these works? I forgot. Um, we have their name. I mean, I don't see an event page in here. Funny, I completely forgot that I made this ages ago. 
uh, to exist in the first edition of the Map Simulator 2. Um, before I have even campaigns and uh, game files themselves, I used to have them. Um, maybe uh, there is uh, like... Oh, I don't remember this. I remember it was the menu items only. I mean, and they behaved like a uh, text box. But, uh, oh, fuck you. The thing is this getting on the top like this. Uh, I remember you just double click on... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. When you click on it, yeah, it's uh, become like a mini strip. Okay, 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 okay. So, so I could even add the items in them. So we build them here. So let's program this first. Uh, first of all, if the map is not um, First of all, what the fudge? At least it tells me. Before it doesn't tell me when the uh, the uh, the debugger, the runtime debugger fails. Uh, before it just leave you hanged in there. All right. Now we need to figure out how do which map is active. Again, I completely forgot. This is kind of part of the earliest code ever written in my old order. So it will look a little bit weird for me at least. So we have something called active map and it's a string. Okay. Oh frick, what the hell? So um if I unchecked it, does it um become null again? So let's check all references. You don't know how many times this thing crashed my uh, um, my running app because it tried to draw it, draw the active map, and the map doesn't exist. So I usually check if it is uh, if it doesn't exist. I don't do zoom or whatever, and um, it's a headache. So yeah, if I uh, load a new game, if I uh, change the campaign, if I uh, load the campaign, if I... When I unload it, okay, 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 so I already dealt with this part, okay, okay. So I make sure that, I don't know why the computer is getting slow and takes a while to open files. I have no clue why. 
maybe I need to close all of them and load all of them which I'm not going to do though so not right now so this one if this sucker is equal to this then we can and if the bath and I don't know where did I save the bath damn it um I remember I seen one of the code yeah this one uh no not this one there's some um... I want the path of the game project um when I update the map When I first initialize a game, um, the map itself, the map um, here. I believe I load the map, the, the, the baths, where is it? Here, 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 here. Game folder bath, so it's in the script. So, um, we go back. And or this guy is empty, then do nothing. Else, we want to copy these maps to this file. Can I make an update, a uh, uh, backup for the maps before I place them? Hmm. Hmm. Um, I will decide when I go back. Let's take a break. Because I, I'm feeling I'm, I'm taking a nap now instead of working. Uh, I will try to uh, soldier on for another hour and then do a third hour after the stream because the pray time will catch me and I don't want to pray in the break time and I might play some music or watch someone playing video games while I'm working for an hour lazily and then uh, I can play and do whatever I want because it will be holiday tomorrow thank you for watching no 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 not yet be right back
Thank you.
So. Should I mix the back up for the maps in here? Or should I make a folder inside? So what are we doing? I'm trying to add a feature to replace the maps from the map simulator into the current project that you're editing directly without the need to go to the folders and do it manually. Does the cam bath uh, get updated when it's selected? Let's take a look. <clears throat> I don't see that. Then when do we update it? Great. Almost everywhere. Not really. So this is not inside the... Uh, I 
Give me a fucking second. This is here, outside. We want to go inside. Okay, 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 okay. Inside are the uh, maps. Okay, okay. I was thinking that... Um, oh. That's the maps are inside the maps folder. It seems not. So... Um, I need to make sure that the folder exists. If it doesn't exist, we need to create it. Um, so we want to go here. What happened? Get down, damn it. If you cannot tell, whenever I get tired, I start to curse, so... I don't care. I'm going to keep coding. This is horrible. I believe this is already a folder, so we don't need this. But uh, now this is selecting uh, this. We want to select this. So uh, this is the folder. And then we need the active map name. And then we need the that I think <clears throat> here we want to add it to the backups and backups is a folder and here we don't need a campaign name we just need um, another folder called maps and then we need to add another and then we need to add this. And here it's that. So this should take care of why? Why you're not fucking happy? Oh yeah, this is um, related to the error that we got a few minutes ago. So let's make a backup. Now we need to move it to the game folder thing. So to move it from to the game folder thing, this is the location of the map. Hopefully. What do you mean hopefully? Hopefully, that's what it's mean. Um, and this is the script wizard. And here we need to use the folder. And this is the camp CB. And then we need to replace the thing with the active map. Uh, the only thing I want to fix is when I create a folder for the game, which is by using the create folder 
I believe it's in the form of creating game form. Oh, it's view code. Not view code, damn it. So here is um, making the game bath. It doesn't make a backup file. Hmm. This is the cam bath. This is the backup for the game file. This is not the um, the one that's related to the campaigns. So we need the ones for the campaign and it's not here. So let me search where do we have that code. This is to create a new campaign. Why? It's fucking slow. I don't know why. Here. So, um, only when we... Um, why I'm doing it every time? Just to make sure that the folder exists when you try to replace uh, the files so if you deleted the folder later on it doesn't crash just because you deleted the folder this I don't need this all right so here So let me save and close it. Actually, I'm closing all of them. And uh, I forgot to start the timer. Let's consider it our work is 10 minutes. Even though I'm sure I worked less than 10 minutes. And uh, hopefully that gave time to this idiot to uh, allow me to work in peace. Damn it. Yeah, t t t t today I doubt I can work three hours with this level of energy, but I must. I must. Where are we? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Where are we? Test three. So uh, here we wanna replace these files inside display. So it's inside the campaign and campaign name again so in the map simulator we um, have this code and it take it from the cam bath 
to the backup from the cam bath, cam text, active map, to the game folder, campaigns, campaign name again, and map folder. So let's test this. Great. This will be a messed up. Not edit, I just want to take a look at it. So, in the kills, I'm going to remove these, all of these green blocks. And uh, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. I forgot to implement it to save automatically. So let me save. We didn't replace them yet. We want to make a test. So when I run the game, log in with the guest, there is a green box. And the jump is way too fast, way too ugly. Um, but if I replace, and test the game again and enter as a profile and it didn't replace so what happened so this is a test game one way to do it is to delete this and try again it didn't work so What just happened? They didn't even fire the code. Is this... Oh, fuck. I code the wrong uh, portion. It should be the year. Ah. So... Um, here... We do not have a map uh, folder. It should generate maps backup folder and I don't see it. Oh, see, this is there. So, um, it should be like this. The funny part is this one is correct, but this one is not. So, uh, first of all, the code is in the wrong position. This is the code for all the maps. I want to program only one map for now. Let's make a blind test. So it should create it a folder for the maps and it doesn't exist. Oh, here. I was in the wrong folder. They're lily, they're lily. And uh, it made a backup here. And I should give it the, 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 the date and the things. Um, I need to add flags to delete older uh, dates. 
to, to clean up from time to time. I don't want to clean up manually. Everything as a script. And in the other folder, we should have the new map. So, when I play now, the green blocks has been removed. Oh wow, perfect code. Um, yeah, the um, detection is not, uh, the wall detection and the speed and the things uh, are not polished, so. And I'm not going to polish it anytime soon. Uh, I believe a huge problem is in, uh, because I have a capability to have different collision rectangle on every frame and that's causing issues more than it deserve. So we want a different name for the backup similar to the uh, backup for um, the game file. So when we go to the create game file and load seven years and a half because this is the most extensive ever class I ever made. And here, this thing doesn't make a backup. Dun dun dun! Because this thing actually doesn't use even the the, the game. Uh, it doesn't save. It immediately save to that file. Okay, okay, fair, fair enough. This one does because it used the real uh, game folder. So that one is purely for testing. So if you made something and you test it and it's horrible, you can exit without saving. That's the whole purpose of it. So the original file for the game file in the map editor stay safe. So here, let me delete these. The backup is normal as well, normal name. What the hell? What the hell? What's going on? Why don't, but, and this one is the old one as well. Give me a second. Then why this one have the nice, correct days? Um, then it's in the save here. Yep. Let's just have all of it. Actually, do I need the word backup? Oh well, let's just give it. doesn't make a backup when I replace it, the GF file. Hmm. No, I want it to make a backup? Sure. No. Why no? Because you're not edited. When you edit it, you make a backup. When you don't make changes, why do you do a backup? Okay, makes sense. And now... Oh, come on, when I do this. What else? What else is, now he's fucking with me. Oh, I didn't stop the program, okay. What else is we need to make 
a backup for all of them. To do so, we need to use a loop and uh, we need to make this condition as well. So what we're going to do similar to save all we go to loop through them so there must be a code for save all unless if I didn't program save all Frick. Ah. Something is worries me. When I uh, check map, do I uh, play with the map AR? Someday I will hate myself because I'm keeping the XYS the size of the tail. Oh yeah, the minimap. It doesn't work anymore, does it? So this is only when you select the index but not changing the check. Okay. This is the change of check. And this will um, change the camera position, save the map, unload the map. Oh, uh, but I don't see that it, um, well, unload will remove it from the list, doesn't it? So, um, this and this will load the map. So, load map, I believe it should uh, change the map list. Yep, okay, that's all what I want to see. So this is the list that I want to deal with. So in here, for each key value pair, string, and I have a class, mk and Have AR. Actually, I already have the for each in here, so screw me. It's in the CC, which is the current campaign, All right? And because this thing deals directly with the files, 
So whatever. One thing left to save them. To save the children. Think of the children. Uh, is there a plural for children? Like children's? Uh, I believe, yeah. What's wrong with me? My language uh, section just got completely destroyed? Or what? <sighs> Why this thing is complicated? So this take the name and this for the encryption. But I already have something like uh, Yeah yeah load whatever. Oh there's only save all maps, so there's no save map. So yeah. Let me just do it slowly, whatever. So here, we need the active map and the encryption. And here, we need all of them. So MKK. Okay, and let's test it. So in the game, when I run it, there's no green walls. So let's add a blue wall. So here, load the project, load the campaign, Load the map, scroll down, and uh, you might wonder why there's no walker in here, because he's a unique freaking creature. What does that mean? Well, I'm too lazy to explain. It's an idea, I take it from, I took it from uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 4, actually, map editor, when I used to map the maps, I really like the idea of having unique heroes where you can move them from one campaign to another and one map to another so um, this is not solid you fucking idiot so we made solid replace so when we go to here ta -da! We can test the game much faster in name and making a silly house and fill it with pain. I didn't I, I didn't create any object or any item only walkers on the floor we need a name 47 so uh, not solid test So there you go, we have a normal walker that if I have an interpreter I could switch to it, but my interpreter has been deleted, but I can now edit maps easily and test them easily and do things easily and not really. Oh, I can switch by hard code. Someday, someday I will make um, a tag f fire, something that fire tags in the runtime, but it won't be a real interpreter. Maybe in, in another life, maybe one of my descendants will come and 
we create an interpreter and connect it to this engine or whatever. But uh, yeah, 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 we finish this lazy task to make the engine easier. And I need to add it to the script wizard. So when I go to the script wizard in here, and we can add, okay, okay, okay. Replace all maps. And only the loaded maps in this case, even that one. So this one, we have an access to the forum. Uh, first of all, let me check where this code is. Uh, remove the codes and go to the end. Can I press end? Control end something. Go here. Go back and oh wow, this is. This is for the uh, tag builder system. I deleted that, so goodbye. No? I didn't completely delete the uh, tag builder. No, maybe this is not part of the tag builder, but what this? Hey, I'll check later, I don't care. For now, can we focus on the... I can make copy the code, but uh, way too lazy. Way too lazy. Hey. No, no. It's called access modifier or something. Here. Happy now? Fucking A. Oh, still okay. So let's test it. So Let's add a third walker and call it three. And in the script, let's say we edit some stuff in here and we want to replace the campaign and the GF and uh, the GF, I mean the maps. And um, we load it in here and there you go. The funny part is because I'm loading the map in the main menu, 
because I'm too fucking lazy. Uh, he immediately dropped, so the graffiti affected him. This jump, this jump, I I'm not happy with it. I'm not, uh, two, 12 is way too much. And the, uh, but I don't want him to float as well, but anyway. There you go, there you go, we finished this task. The task is making the script wizard have the capability to replace the maps as well, and goodbye. No, I'm not leaving it. So let's find another lazy thing to fix, because today is a lazy day to die. No, I'm not ready to die yet. Drag menus text doesn't support Arabic yet, screw that. Maybe change the text for the default Arabic name, screw that. Make check if the auto login font, screw that. Add a grid for block 2 in map. Hmm. So I want to make a grid to support block 2. Let's do that. Because I'm fucking lazy today. Okay. I didn't mark my devil thing. Let's mark it. So we're going to go to here. Can I rename this without going to hoops? Okay, and it should be the same. The the game is in. Oh man, actually, it's more complicated than I expected. The uh, the game is in the draw function. The sp draw function. So, uh, what have I done? Um. So we need to change the name. He might not be happy with it, but uh, we will try. So this one, we should change it the name before we change that stupid thing. Um, here, we need to divide based on the selected item. And instead of the size of the tail. So let's go to the ghost image. Oh boy. Can I do this tomorrow? No? Okay.
because this is related to this to the selected item I'm going to print the condition in the ghost image I don't know if the ghost image only shows when the mouse enters or not so let's go and find all the references and uh, let's add one in here yeah yeah the ghost image only works when uh, the mouse enters so um yeah i don't think i should put the code in here but i want to reuse these conditions darn it Why this thing is not else? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Um... I'm not sure any of these are. Uh, uh, this is the OCIICP on whatever. And this is zero. This is one. And the this is the OCP. So this is depends on the layer. And if it is move. Why? Um, no, it's move seems different. I've been, it's a different flag. Maybe. Oh, if it is not move, maybe. Or maybe only when I drag. Okay, okay, okay. This is the drag position when you drag stuff. Oops. Um, oops. I need to make a different condition. This is not lazy, this is annoying. So when objects are selected and this is selected, the OCP. And
So how can we select the image uh, of the object? Only God knows what these are. I believe this is related to the mouse location calculated with the camera. Oh yeah, objects has forms as well. Depends on the form. It is different. It have a different. I hate all this shit. Oh God. Apparently we need these two. Apparently. So, um... Damn, this is... too much. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a new uh, static end. Uh, a lot of people um, critique my code and I have too many variables outside like this. Static. And grid to x, grid to y. So when I click on grid to When I select an object, tell me there's an event here. Of course it's complicated, I mean, what do you expect? Do I want a grid to be affected by the layers? Screw fucking that. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to... Change the grid X and the grid Y. And then grid 2 will have the same code. So the grid to script wizard. No, it's uh, later. I will make one grid one is selected, grid two will be selected, and whatever. Now my stomach is upset. Did I drink too much coffee this week? I guess so. <sighs> um, here. Let me remove this and put this one here. Here, and instead of uh, checking uh, what am I selecting, Uh, 
Well, I will initialize them with one later. But here, I'm not sure if I is the. Um, let's make I is the uh, the x, and this one the y. I believe it's the opposite. So anything that related to I is the x. And anything that's select uh, related to, yeah, it is. It is uh, the the x. Even here, it's width and height. So yeah, yeah. I don't have objects in this project, damn it. So uh, let's go to here and go to the creature and here. And now we need to find out the width of the original size of the action uh, animated particle of the creature. So uh, in here, grid to x is equal to what? Okay, okay. I believe this one. I believe. I believe I can fly. For Walker, it's 64, which is kind of weird. Sixty four by sixty four. Okay. Let's see how many crashes do we get for a stupid feature that I might never use. First crash. So um, Worker doesn't have forms, it says. So I'm using the wrong rectangle. Congratulations. Um, a collision is. for perceiving walls. Wall is. He, he himself acting as a wall so there are different rectangles i know i know i know but which one it's related to rc i believe oh original fucking rf okay so i need this one um yeah. Do I select the uh, which form he is in here? I don't remember. Oh no 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 no! no. Yeah, in here actually.
Oh, this one just... Oh, fuck me. Uh, this one... Just show you the different forms, but it doesn't add it to the menu yet, does it? Does it? I don't think so. So, um... Yeah, it is one of these features, wacky features that I never, um, never implemented or cared about, to be honest. I was like, just like the uh, size of the, uh, but later on I need to implement it, definitely. Just like the size of the tail. Uh, each map can have different tail size. So here, if you have other forms, which he does, but the other form is just a reflection. Uh, it's used to reflect the images as a flag in the animation data, which is whatever. So here, when we click on grid two, nothing happened. Because a grid 2 is not a checkbox. Let's make uh, the, uh, oh god. Let's make, um, uh, 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 let's make this one is equal to one. So it doesn't crash when I try to because divide over zero crap so if i make grid 2 nothing happened again actually something happened this happened I made a mistake in calculation. All right. This is not the right calculation. Oh, he is already 64 by 64. It's the same size. Fuck me. Oh. Let's make just, I don't know. Let, let's change the uh, size of the character just for testing purposes. Let's make this one 32. There you go. So this grid is for walkers. So if I want to place walkers in order of a grid, and if I make block 2, I start the block on the grid. So, uh, let's edit the game folder again and make him 64 again. The till size is 64, that's why the grid is the same. But uh, when I... Hopefully I didn't screw everything forever. Uh, because I need to select it again. Oh, I hmm, because whenever it refresh, it changed the the size. Are you sure this is sixty four by sixty four? Seems smaller. I mean, it doesn't seem to fit the block. 
Yeah, it is smaller. It's not 64. It is something, but I don't know. Maybe I want to keep... I will keep both grids, whatever. If I want to make one grid on, one grid on, two grids on, two grids on, who cares? Um, the only thing left is when I select... Um, when I select an item, you need to change the variable. And then when I change the tabs, I need to change the variables again if the item is selected. But I believe that's already is done, so yeah. I mean, items are more complicated because uh, we have more than one type of items. But we have a super class. Do we have a size for all of them? It should be. It should be. So it depends on the type. We get different um, one of these. So definitely it's the item target, but which one? So it depends on the type. We uh, we select different items. We add different ones in here as well. Uh, in the uh, in these two. But what are these two? I completely forgot. Default SSI. I need to delete those later. Not all items have shapes, but I shouldn't put shapeless items in the map, should I? I didn't uh, play with the shapes a lot. This one is the item size in the bag, not in the map. Just to let you know how confusing and how complicated this is. But I believe we need this one, yep. I believe we need this one. So, uh, grid 2x is equal to uh, width. Now, the only thing left, why it fucked up, when I say 1, 1 pixel is too, 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 too small, eh? let's make it 10. The only reason I put 1, so uh, it doesn't uh, make it uh, crash because of um, divide of 0, over 0. So when we load the game, And set grid 2. There you go. So we're done with grid 2, but I'm going to leave a note. Not fully tested. Need to test objects and items. But we're done with it. And that's uh, a prey time. I better prepare and go to pray. Um, it has been a wonderful lazy coding day. 
I used to before I or when I don't stream I used to listen to uh, business owners and um, philosophers trying to learn stuff while I'm working and one of them called is Eli the Kibita guy gave an advice more than once when you feel tired and lazy and you don't want to work just try to do these tasks that doesn't need a lot of concern doesn't need a lot of focus and that's what I'm trying to do today I really 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 want to do anything else going to play Final Fantasy 7 the new threat mode going to play Ragnarok and do whatever Go and play a building game, survival, and build a wall, anything. Lay down and sleep till tonight. But instead, I want to do the three hours of work, which I'm um, almost there. I need to work like 30 minutes more or something. Great. Uh, I might pick more lazy stuff to do. Till uh, the clock hit three hours, then I can go lose and uh, do whatever I want. Oh boy, cancel events. A lot of people can complain with the cutscenes if they are in, uh, not skippable. So I made a cancel system, but every time you want to skip uh, a cutscene, you need to program the skip. What should it do? And for some reason, when I use the default skip and um, program part of the transition and everything, uh, it the tick starts at 32 every time and there's something wrong. So, yeah. Time manager checking the name, uh, random name when there are more than one name fired by the same class. The name giver is not re-rolling correctly. So I need to deal with it. Reverse engineer your own project to for up for secure. <sighs> My work is everywhere. My work is everywhere. It's related. Sometimes I go to the website. Sometimes I deal with streaming. Sometimes I'm dealing with the engine itself. The editor just down, down, down. I'll never finish. Not in a lifetime. I'll never finish. Thank you for watching, see you next time.